Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings, and I created six casual luxury design principles for renovating or designing any space in your home. My casual luxury designs are the answer to any design dilemma, and I'll show you how. This looks great. What are you doing? I'm getting inspired. Oh. I'm trying to find the most cohesive color palette for a new client I'm working on. Oh. Well, do you want to get more inspired? I'll wait. Okay. I have an opportunity for you. So people have been watching what you've been doing and very impressed. And so uh, someone called me. They asked if you would like to be the leasing agent in charge of all the rentals for a brand new apartment complex that just was built here in town. Rentals? Yeah. The ones that are like near that new coffee shop on the post road. Sure water. Yeah. Yes. I've been watching that develop. Yeah. It's so cool. I know that that's not yeah, normally what that. you do, but here's what I'm also thinking. This whole season's been about thinking outside the box, doing different things. It sure has. And so I don't think you should just list it. I think you should take this as a design challenge. I think you should show how you would stage to rent and do multiple units and really show what you can do. Wow, that's a great idea, Paul. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting because I normally don't do rentals. So right. this might be the first opportunity I actually have to do it in a big scale, not just one place to rent. Right. And the fact that there's more than one, because it's a whole complex, right. I can really highlight each unit in a very different vibe, right? You can do different things, totally. So no construction, no renovation, just staging and casual luxury at its purest form. So should I say you can do it? <laughs> okay, yes. Great, I already did. <laughs> You better get going. Okay, so I'm in. So I thought the best way to really get my hands around this complex would be to meet with David Mann, the developer. He's the gentleman who has the management company who has been doing this for quite some time. So right in walking distance to the West Porter is Shearwater Coffee Shop. So I thought we'd get some coffee, get to know each other, and learn more about his history and how he had this brilliant idea to bring it to West Porter. So David, thanks so much for meeting me here for some coffee. I was eager to talk to you because you built such an incredible complex. What was the whole thought process in reference to your company coming and making Westport another big project for you? Well, I grew up in uh, Great Neck, Long Island, and believe it or not, there's a few people who moved to Westport and they were close friends. When I came to visit them, I thought it was just a beautiful town, very similar to Great Neck, maybe you know, not as big but an awesome downtown, a thriving retail, which, you know, where I grew up, we didn't really have. This is just a great town. It's one of the best towns on the Gold Coast of Correct, Connecticut. Yeah. You know, the best beach, and you got a public uh, golf course just for the residents. And so I always told my friend, hey, if you ever find a site in Westport, let me know. And then all of a sudden one day, he said, hey, and he took a picture while driving by, and it was of this site. And I said, yeah, that's perfect. I think to be able to have all those benefits and to live in Westport is something that's so desirable and people really want. So you built something that people want, which is fantastic. One thing that I really want to bring out is that I rented for many, many years in Westport before I bought my house. And one thing that was very, very difficult was to find pet friendly uh, places to live. I grew up with dogs, started with one and then my parents ended up getting uh, two more. So by the time I left for college, we, I had three dogs that I grew up with. And it was you know, a lot of fun, I love dogs. It changes our lives, yeah, right? It makes, it, it makes their life more enjoyable, for right. sure. And so I didn't want people to take that away from people or make it prohibitive for any type of owner's fees. It's really, for me, I'm extremely passionate about what I do. So thank you for the opportunity. Now it's a matter of just making sure more and more people know about it, know about the quality that you build, the amenities that comes with it, it, and the lifestyle that people can live right here in Westport. So uh, bravo to you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
So now that I've learned a little bit more about this complex, it's really quite wonderful. So to step back and to say, okay, now I have to rent the complex. I've never done a whole complex, but something tells me that by the time I'm done, I'm going to be a complex king. I'm going to stage four, four units. Yep, that's a lot. Introducing the Ethan Allen Member Program. Special member pricing, complimentary design service, free shipping, and exceptional white glove home delivery. Unparalleled value and service on your every purchase, every day, on every handcrafted piece of furniture. Designed to help you curate a beautiful American home. Backed by 88 years of American design and craftsmanship. Ethan Allen, we make the American home. So now that you're kind of over the surprise, how, how are you feeling about working on the complex? Well, I, I, you know, I must tell you that rentals is not really within my wheelhouse, but design and sales is. So I think if I could just latch onto that, I think I can make a real successful turnout in reference to what needs to be done there. So. I agree, I agree. And you got lots of different spaces to work with. So that's kind of fun. This is totally all about design and the power of design for a space that's not necessarily your own. So my philosophy about design principles and how to infuse those designs into your space can apply even in a rental. And I think that's going to be the most exciting part of making this unit so successful and wanting people to come see it is that I'm going to stage four, four units. Yep, that's a lot. You think? Four is a lot. I'm gonna have a little help. I'm going to call my buddies at Ethan Allen oh. and what I think would be fantastic because we're going into the colder season, how about if we make one of each unit, mm. so a studio, a one bedroom, and two townhouses, winter, spring, Summer and fall. So we are in the studio. Now I have lived in a lot of small spaces, mainly studios. And when I think about a studio, I really think about posted stamp living. Very small spaces you walk in, one big room, not a lot of closets. This is really a studio plus. You have this area here that is really carved out for a bedroom. Plenty of closet. I mean, that was probably one of the rooms that I probably rented. But when you come in this way, you can see that this is really what a traditional studio would be. And that is one big room where you put your bed, you eat, you watch TV. This has that one bedroom kind of open, but nevertheless carved out already there. Now, Ethan Allen is going to create this as their fall space. And we're gonna bring in some beautiful things in order to display how casual luxury is really the cure for all design dilemmas. And this little studio, it's really close to my heart. What was your first apartment like? It wasn't this, it was pretty bad. Um, it was a studio and I remember I didn't have a real working kitchen, oh. but I knew that it had potential. It was in a great location, it was in Westport. And I knew that I could make something of it. And I did, and in less than a year, it was really home. But what about you in good old Canada? Oh, my first apartment, oh, it was a basement apartment when I was in university. So it was like a, you know, go around the back of the house and through the cellar door kind of thing. And it was like, I remember it had really low ceilings. It was fantastic. I felt like I was free and on my own and stuff. But looking back at it, I'm like, ooh. Here we are in the one bedroom. Now this one's going to be inspired by spring. Right in front of me is the one bedroom, which is quite lovely because 
It does have a door, which we like that, unlike the studio, but some great closet space as well. So I could do a lot with this space. A wonderful, nice big bathroom here. And then the open concept kitchen, living room, dining area. Now this is a really fantastic layout because the island, the island is a wonderful place to put four stools. You'll really probably spend most of your time on this island. This is the two bedroom, two and a half bath townhouse. It's a traditional town home. So the lower level has a two car, 10 garage. You have two bedrooms with their own ensuite and you have a half bath. Everything is brand new. Who doesn't love new? refrigerator, the stove, the microwave, it's well appointed. The units also have their own washer and dryer, which is a big plus, you don't have to go anywhere. The bedrooms are now up on the second floor where you have two bedrooms, two full baths, the laundry facility, and um, this is casual luxury at its very best. It is a narrow space, but with the furnishings that are coming in, we're really going to show you just how wonderful this space will be once the beautiful pieces of furniture is in here. I mean, come on, this, this is built for, for your dog, for your cat. Okay, I gotta get to it. Lots to do, and my buddies at Ethan Allen are really making this all happen very quickly because we have a very tight timeline. Once we have all the furniture in place, that's when we really up the ante and bring in all those little touches that make a house a home. And in this case, makes a rental a home, it doesn't matter. Cause after all, home is where the heart is. Ethan Allen is in and I'm working with their designers to make sure that we tell a story that's both brand awareness for both Ethan Allen and casual luxury. So the first thing we have to do is we have to paint. We're gonna identify some important colors that are going to represent each and every unit in the style that it's designed. Then we have to coordinate moving all the furnishings into the space. After that, we have to stylize. And then I'm back to my warehouse to find all the little touches that truly tell a story. Ethan Allen has a pop-up shop in Westchester. So I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to go check out what's available there to see if anything can inspire me for this new complex. Exceptional products, personal service. Goldstone and Landscape Supplies offers both professionals and homeowners one of the largest selections of natural and man-made stone in New England. From small projects to complete renovations and new construction, incorporating stone indoors or outdoors can completely transform a space. Visit our showrooms in Westport and Bethel for an interactive stone experience or browse our expansive stone selection online at goldstone.com. Galt puts you first. Ethan Allen has a pop-up shop in Westchester. So I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity to go check out what's available there to see if anything can inspire me for this new complex. And of course, Andrea was so delightful. It was fantastic to catch up, especially given our recent success with Greystone. Look who's here. Hey, Mar, how are you? Great to see you. Good to see you. How are things? I'm great. How are you today? Great. You're doing a special project here? Yeah, we're working on a project for a client home. Always, right? Always getting ready. All the details, making it beautiful. Well, I love a good pop-up store, and I know you're here in Westchester for a short period of time. I thought I'd pop in, see what you have, and also take a look at uh, some of the things that you're coming out with these days. All right, awesome. Can I show you around? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Show me around. Come on up up here. Ethan Allen did so much more with their new Westchester pop-up store. They totally built out these vignettes that inspire you the moment you walk in. It's hard to tell that it's not really a permanent store. It is basically about 18 units are still available in the complex. There's only 28 units altogether. So my task is to really bring some much needed attention to it. I was thinking a lot like the seasons of fashion that are very inspired by what the season is, Perhaps maybe we can create four special spaces, each unit dedicated to winter, spring, 
summer and fall. That is a terrific idea. I can already see it. The colors of each season could go into each unit. We have to be very careful in an apartment that the scale and the proportion is right, but the function is just as important as a regular house. And you're so right. The pieces someone buys in an apartment will go with them to their next home and their next home. These are legacy pieces, things you'll have forever. And you know, you're all about sustainability. And I thought, what better way to really underscore that than to bring Mother Nature totally to the front of the entire design plan. So I was thinking that we have a one bedroom. Let's do that in spring. Light, bright, green, green, pink. Let's not be afraid of color. And then we have fall, let's introduce orange and some maroon colors. Right. And then we have two townhouses. Okay. We'll do one in winter and one, of course, in summer. Hydrangeas, blues, Blue beach, white, the ocean. So uh, the moment we have a clear action plan of the design, that's when it all falls in line. Don't you agree? I totally agree. Having the furnishings and being able to see how they can transform, you know, four vanilla walls, I know that I am so far ahead of that because I don't have vanilla walls. I have high-end finishes, great appliances, great details, wonderful windows, natural light. I have everything you could possibly ask for. The furniture is just going to be the icing on the cake. Now I really have to start thinking about what can I do to elevate what's already a boutique style complex and make it more exciting for the average renter coming in. And then it came to me, make it completely pet friendly. And I confirmed they're totally pet friendly. And I thought I would push the concept of your dogs and cats can live for free. Select furniture, check. Move-in day is happening today. As America's top lifestyle expert, it's important for me to have a reliable mobile network. That's why I like Pulse Cellular with their premium unlimited wireless plans. Now that's a Marzing. The best part, if you sign up today using the promo code MARTV, you'll get an additional 10% off your monthly wireless bill for as long as you stay with Pulse Cellular. Switch to Pulse Cellular for the best wireless experience. Today's the big day where the trucks arrive and we start displaying all the beautiful furnishings that Ethan Allen has to offer. So as the furniture shows up, once again, these people are so organized. They have colored sheets that identify every room, the furnishings that are going into that room. So they are top notch in reference to being organized. That makes my job a lot easier. As this is taking place, I'm making a mental note of all the accessories and the smaller items that are going to really take the story from Ethan Allen to being someone lives here and why you should live here. Staging, staging, staging. All the furniture is in. Now they're passing the baton back to me. Now it's all about the little details that truly tell a story of winter, spring, summer, and fall. I'm gonna to need to get to my warehouse for that. And once I put all those little touches into the spaces, then it's time to hire a photographer to take all the appropriate photos that will ultimately go online. That's when the phone should start ringing. Let's just rent them. I want people to walk in and say, that's it, I'm home.
It's just my job with this project to let people get a snapshot of what their life can be in these spaces. And if I can create a little vignette that tells a story about the type of lifestyle that you can live here, and the fact that it is a pet friendly building, you know, I'm gonna throw a leash, I'm gonna throw a stuffed animal of a dog or a toy. To really tell that story, I think that will help I think it's smart to sort of center your designs around the Four Seasons, but especially how they relate to living here in Westport. Like I know in the summer for me, I love going to the waterfront and you know, at night Yeah, and like, but like watching the sun go down there and like hanging out with friends. Like to me, that's a, that's really the essence of living here for sure. So what's your favorite thing about living here? You know, that question, no matter how much older I get, the answer is always the same. Westport is really a melting pot of creative people and resources. It's very influenced by the arts. And growing up in this area and knowing that as a skater, as an artist, as a designer, I can be everything I could ever want to be. And that's really a fantastic community to be in. We have such history here. No matter where I've traveled in the world, I always get homesick for Westport. And, and the underlying reason for that is because this is truly a magical place that is a mix of the past, the present, and what the future is going to bring as well. Wow. Okay. Better than my answer. My six core design principles were highlighted in each unit. Here are some of my favorite from each. The summer place enjoys the view. It's fresh and bright in white and blue. Whether inside or out, he's the guy. Six clever principles for you to try. Learn the winter home keeps cold at bay. It's decked in tones of cream and gray. It's the place to be. Whether he tears it down, brings it to life, his principles will guide and revive, learn casual... Springtime homes hold a promise of what will be seen, so it's turned out in tender pink and green. The autumn home embraces the years that's winding down. It comforts the owners in orange and brown. Represent Mother Nature. Embrace light and reflection. Natural materials and colors. Repeat shapes and patterns. Repurpose. Consider size and scale. So now we're at a point where it's ready to go live and operators were standing by to take all the phone calls of the people who wanted to see the complex, now known as the West Porter. It was brilliant. They loved the name. It was perfect. The phone did not stop ringing. And in a very short period of time, well, we managed to wrap up this puppy pretty quickly. Love the way I said puppy, right? I'm Mark Jennings. Life on Mars, the homemaker show, is proudly brought to you by Ethan Allen. They make the American home.